Or does he play the... No, no. Wait. Yes. Yes, he does. He does, right? Okay, okay. Another SoCal... Or is he SoCal or is he, uh, like, Tijuana? I'm, I, I'm honestly not, like, 100% sure. Neither am I. I don't know if he's TJ or if he's... Uh, I believe so TJ. I mean, TJ's like practically so well. Yeah, I mean, Spar goes on RPR. Right, right. So. Yeah, shout out to TJ, man. They're very, very good. They're yeah, good. they're very good. Um, of course, Spargo coming from there, their best player. And they have a ton of more talented players, which I'm, I'm assuming Torque Master from. But if, if I'm mistaken, I'm very, very sorry. And of course, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Garu? 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 All right, so Torque Master going to be on the Game & Watch. We saw a Game & Watch match earlier today. Uh, just to like touch up on the character, probably I want to say the best up the out of shield, probably. Eh. It's definitely really quick and you combo, so in my opinion the best. But there, there's probably some other characters that have some pretty nasty up out of shield. And of course, see, uh, trying to stretch this as long as possible, and yeah. Garu is playing. Uh, oh, he didn't even pick his character. He's got to take a second of Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right, all right, all right. We got we the go. trainer on deck, bro. All right. So I'm a big Pokemon trainer fan in this game. I think the kids are super unique and interesting, having yes. the swap mechanic and all that. I think it's uh, Sakurai does an amazing job yeah. of making the characters like feel like they're from their games. And Pokemon, you know, just your standard Pokemon game is a turn-based like RPG pretty much, right? Yeah. And you switch your Pokemon, even in competitive Pokemon, you switch your Pokemon in different situations versus different types to get a type advantage. That's usually what you want to do. And um, that's exactly what Pokemon Trainers does. Like, okay, I want Squirtle in the beginning. Okay, like, I want to kill him at 50, switch to Ivysaur. You know, I, I want to stock tank, have a good up smash out of shield, like Charizard. So you're you're constantly switching in battle to get some kind of advantage that, like, um, one of your other characters bring to the table. And all three of them are so different, which makes the character really feel like Pokemon. And, like, let's be real, who's just most, like, I feel like 90% of the community or the Smash community are humongous Pokemon fans. Oh, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite games. And also the thing that's so great about it is that none of the characters feel like they're being carried by the other two anymore. Like, Charizard got some pretty nice buffs where he yes. feels like he has his own role now. Um, but, I mean, we're not really seeing it too much. But yeah. Garu is struggling a little bit to say, to put it politely, that Forkmaster is kind of just doing everything right now. Yeah, he, he's trying to find an answer. He's now on the Zard. He's trying to get the stock tank going. But yeah, he, he's like a lot of people would, would have said like before, like yeah, Zard is carried by the other two. Even before, like I don't know for me, like oh, you're dead. See you later. Yeah. Get him with the chair. But like Charizard, when you're in a last stock last hit situation, I'd rather fight Ivysaur than Charizard because Charizard's out of shield option. Like his grab's gonna kill you, and then you yeah. have to respect up smash out of shield, right? And up B. And up B. Like there's there's a himself. lot of things that like Charizard can do in a very safe manner and still like kind of pretty much like pressure you, yeah. pressure you into like oh I, I still have to respect X X and X because I can die from that. And so, um, Ivysaur is a character that probably has the worst neutral game out of all of them, but he just gets like absurdly early kills. Oh my god, and he is already dead once again. The down smash coming in clutch for Twerk Master. All right, uh, but Twerk Master is making this character looking not so hot, man. <laughs> the forward tilt. Like, jeez, man. I don't, I, maybe Twerk Master is just very, very uh, comfortable in this matchup or, or something, man. Trying to get the up smash going. Garu just having such a tough time killing Game and & Watch, and that's how you know there's a problem. Torque Master using that little boost. If you double jump with the yeah. bucket, you get a little boost off of that. But the forward tilt, the Please, tail swipe, Garu. definitely going to do it here. And Garo actually opting to stay Charizard at the beginning, but swaps in the middle of the jab from Game & Watch, and that's a big punish. Dude, when Squirtle's buried, his face, he looks like in utter distress, bro. Like, get I this. would be. <laughs> with how much he weighs, like, get me out, bro. He's a, if he gets buried, he might die, yeah. like, right now. And Garu recognizing that and then just switching to the Ivysaur. Smart play. Yeah, but we have the bucket, which now reflects too, so you gotta respect that. You gotta bring something else in terms of neutral, and because Torque Master is ready for these Razor Leafs, bro. Oh, that so down smash. How did so that crazy. not hit? Yeah, it's, it like grazed him, I felt like. Oh, hitting away that forward air. Oh, and that's the one, the great thing about Game Watch, no matter what, in a scramble situation, you can always up you. And for the most part, it's like you still have some kind of mix up coming down. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a great, great tool. Down air almost killing off the side. Oh. Flare Blitz going to force his way back onto the center stage, and the forward tilts are coming out. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Okay, you up to the <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to get a hit, bro. Not that hit, apparently. Oh, but there's the dash attack cross stage. Twerkmaster was a very, very convincing game one. I don't know, man. We might see a, a switch. <laughs> Not a we switch. We saw switching a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. But we might see a, like a permanent character switch coming out from Garu because maybe it it looked rough, man. Twerkmaster looked very, very comfortable in that matchup. Okay, Pokemon Stadium two. Looks like we're sticking with it. Pokemon Trainer on PS2. Let's see if we can make the adjustments. I want to see the Squirtle do a lot more work, man. I feel like Squirtle, in my opinion, has the best neutral out of all three. So, like, it's just really scary when you open out the match and your Squirtle's losing neutral. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this character's so quick. Your grab range is gigantic. There's so many, uh, you have so much air mobility. Man, it looks like, talking about grabs, it looks like Torquemaster is going to be the one that starts off the game with the grab and racking up a ton of damage here. Air again, again. Okay, up be out of the danger, only taking 20%. And that could be another frustrating thing. Um, Garu wants to start all these combos, but Torque Master just has the option to up be out of some of these strings. Oh, and the up smash, it's just gonna kill Squirtle right off the top right there. This is just running away from Garu already. That's so unfortunate. That Fort Tilt uh, was just barely out of range, and then he gets whiff punished because he was cranking that up smash. Very unfortunate, but Twerkmaster looking like he's going to start this game number two in a very commanding fashion. I just up airs poking him all over the place. Oh, there's a reflect on the Razor Leaf. What's the lead trap going to be? It looks like Twerkmaster definitely wanted to close out the stock. Trying to get some style points, man. Trying to bring the judgment. Trying to bring the nine. Oh, wow. I wasn't ready for that interaction. Yeah, the oh, and there's that forward. So that move is so strong. Yeah, Twerkmaster actually utilizing the up B intangibility on like the first like half or third of that up B. Yeah. Going right through I, that. I really feel like Ivysaur just hasn't been the play here for Garu. Like every time it feels like he's really relying on the Razor Leafs and you can't do that against Game Watch. You can just reflect them. Yeah, exactly. Might have to bring in something heavy or hitting or maybe go for like some forward airs or back airs with the Ivysaur. But yeah, definitely this uh the range game on Game Watch is definitely not working out here. But uh, Garu is making work with these back airs, trying to get this juggle going, but jab block. the jab block. Wow. Big damage here for Torque Master. Oh. Apparently that happened. Wow, that hits so low. Wow, damn. You see something new every day, man, with this damn. game. It is crazy. Really good stuff. Really great two frame coming out from Torque Master. And, man, he hit him before he even grabbed the ledge. My man's was exit stage left. Yeah. Oh, yo, Ike Tyson. Let's go. Oh, this Let's get it, Ike. That is probably one of my favorite tags in all of Smash Bros. Honestly, Ike Tyson sitting down against Exax. Yep, Exax. Uh, he's ranked in SoCal. I forget the number. Um, I believe I like between the ten and fifteen area. Yeah, I think. I, shoot, I want to say thirteen. Yeah. I'm gonna just pull up the PR real quick while they're signing up. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, Exax rocking the Inkling, and Ike Tyson. Um, Definitely has some other characters, but I'm pretty sure game one we're going to see the Ike. 11. Right? 11? Oh, wow. 11th. Oh, the camera's on us. My bad. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, no, x is currently our number 11th uh -huh. uh, ranked player here in SoCal. All right. Uh, great stuff to him. You know, it was his first season uh, down here in SoCal. We just moved down from NorCal. Yeah. Yeah. Not uh, too long ago. So, yeah, looking to maybe see that number go up a little bit this season. Yeah. Um, he's been working really hard on the Inkling. Been, it's kind of been kind of rough, man, with, especially with Cosmos taking a break. We haven't seen too much Inkling in, like, yeah. very top-level play. Oh, I know. I, I have no one to study anymore. It's, it's real sad. It's it's rough, man. It's rough. It, and, like, I feel like Inkling and Pikachu, definitely characters that might be, like, low-key kind of falling off because a lot of people kind of put them in their top five. Yeah. And then, like, Inkling and Pika are, like, usually put in these situations where they, they just can't get the sock. They, they like, it's get a life. bear at, like, 200 or, the, you know, the, the average, like, when they take a stock, it's at the 150 to 200. A lot of people are getting a lot better at not getting hit by roller, right? Or just like not getting edge guarded by Pikachu in general.